Hey, hey, you guys, what's going on? Jumbo Cabela here, Limelight by Alcone. I want to talk to you guys about um, a very important topic, and I feel like when it gets to winter time, it kind of takes the back burner. Nobody really thinks about it. And the fact of the matter is, this is a year round issue that you need to be paying attention to, even in the colder months. All right, so. We're going to start with the biggest misconceptions about sun exposure and sunscreen. All right. So the biggest misconception when it comes. So you remember me talking in my video the other day about we make choices and when we make choices, those choices in most cases can impact the people we care about um, inadvertently. And one of those things that I didn't mention when I was talking about diet and talking about smoking is overexposure to sun. I know a lot of people that go to the tanning bed like weekly. And when I was younger, I was that person and I still to this day kind of freak out a little bit whenever I see a weird skin spot on my body. I'm like, oh shit, like all those years of tanning is gonna catch up to me. When I cheered for the Jills, we had a free membership to the tanning bed or whatever it was at the time, total tan maybe. And so I was going all the time. And I've got, at least three friends that have had um, spots removed from their skin from, I think it's melasma. Um, I've never personally had it, but I know friends who have, and I don't know, um, I don't know the specifics on it. I have never in any way, shape, or form try to pretend I know things that I don't know, but here's what I do know. Um, too much exposure to sun or to the UV rays is not good for you. Too much of anything is not good for you, but especially the sun and it, it is linked to cancer. And so it always amazes me, much like smokers, it amazes me when you know that something is linked to cancer and you still choose to do it. So that was, you know, part of the point of that one video was your choices will eventually affect the people you love. So just be cognizant of, of that. And one of them is tanning and being exposed to the sun. So the biggest misconception, especially for us Buffalonians and Western New Yorkers, is that when it's cold or cloudy, we don't need to worry about the sun, and that is false. If you've ever been on the beach on a cloudy day, you know damn well you could still tan while, you're, while it's cloudy. Even when it's cold, as long as the sun is in the sky, the UV rays are hitting you. So in the winter, you might be bundled up in your turtlenecks, but your face is still exposed. So you've gotta be using sunscreen even in the winter. And I'm guilty of that too. Um, the other misconception, and I learned this the hard way when I was in Florida with my son, is that having on a shirt will protect you, especially in the blazing hot sun in the thick of summer. Um, my son, Duder, got sunburned his first day in Florida. I did put sunscreen on him, but apparently it wasn't enough. And we'll get to that. Um, so the next, that night we went out and we bought him a swim shirt. And I'm like, oh, we'll put a swim shirt on him so he can still play tomorrow. We put aloe on him. 40 cure cream like we really tried to help him because it was bad well we got him a shirt so we put the shirt on him and send him out again into the sun the next day and we did not realize that unless the shirt specifically says that it protects against uv rays it does not protect against uv rays so the sun went right through his shirt and burned him even worse and it was awful it the like my moms and dads out there you know that pain of knowing that your stupidity is causing your kid pain is just it sucks. So don't think that just because you have a shirt on or clothes on that it's protecting you unless it says it's UV protectant, you, it can still go through the, the um, fabric. All right, the other misconception is that sunscreen blocks 100% of the sun's rays. It does not, all right? SPF 30 or higher, SPF 30 is recommended. SPF 30 or higher only blocks 97% of the UV UVB rays, it does not protect against UVA rays. All right, two different rays, I'm not getting into that. I'm. It's not my forte, I'm just telling you that um, <coughs> sunscreen SPF 30 and higher blocks 97% of the UVB rays, all right? All right, so the other misconception, so now I'm on my fourth misconception, is that the higher the SPF, the longer it, it, it you can go without replacing it, and that's false. I've heard people say, oh, get the highest SPF, then you won't, it'll last longer. No matter what the SPF is, you have to be reapplying the sunscreen every two hours. That's the recommended time, less if you can, all right? <clears throat> so regardless of the SPF number, we, you should be adding more every two hours. All right, so the, I, now I got all this from the American Academy of Dermatology, all right? I'm not just like freaking pulling up, the, pulling this shit up from like 
Lore Magazine or Lore Magazine or whatever. UV exposure is causes 80% of your skin's aging. So if you have crappy looking skin, you need to start thinking about how you're gonna protect your skin from the sun or the exposure to the sun, all right? If you're hitting the tanning beds, stop doing it. Do it less or use some kind of protection. Melanoma, six million, is it million? Six million? Oh, I lost the number, damn it. I think I deleted it. Um, primary cause of melanoma, I think it's six million people in the US are um, have melanoma. Primary causes UV exposure to people with low skin pigments. So if you're very fair, you're more likely to get melanoma and that's just like the overpigmentation in your skin. All right, so you've got your misconceptions. <laughs> we cleared those up. So now what you're going to need to do is add sunscreen to your daily routine, you guys, daily, not just when you plan on being out in the sun, because even driving in the car. Yeah, I know some people who reach out to me and they're like, just the left side of my face or the left arm is where most of my um, discoloration or the melanoma or, you know, the melasma or whatever had to be removed is usually on the left side because that's the side that's hitting the sun most often when you're driving. All right, you guys. So every day you need to be adding sunscreen to your routine. So you want to find a sunscreen that one is broad spectrum because broad spectrum is what's going to protect against the UVA and the UVB. If it doesn't say broad spectrum, you're only blocking against UVB. That's it. So those UVA rays are still hitting you. So it needs to be broad spectrum, at least SPF 30 or higher. It needs to be water resistant. You need to be applying it every two hours and you need to be applying it daily to your face. All right, year round, doesn't matter. So the perfect sunscreen, our perfect sunscreen that we sell, you knew I was gonna segue into our sunscreen and why it's so great because I truly believe that some of the chemicals in our sunscreen are just as damaging as the sun. And I know I'm not the only one who feels that way, right? Um, some of the chemicals in the sunscreen could be doing just as much damage as the sun is doing. So it's very important that you find a sunscreen that is made with natural products. So our perfect sunscreen, I'm just gonna brag on it for a minute. You don't have to, you know, reach out to me for it, but if you find that you're having trouble finding a sunscreen that met, meets all this stuff, then reach out to me because I'm gonna brag for a second about why ours is so great. It has a pH of 7.5 to 8.5. If you saw yesterday's video, you know why that's important. A higher pH, you want it to be below nine, but a higher pH means it's gonna sit on your skin. It's not gonna seep into it. And that's what you want for your moisturizers and your sunscreen. You need it to sit on your face to protect it. All right, so our um, perfect sunscreen has a pH of 7.5 to 8.5. It is an SPF 30, so you are getting the um, minimum that you need. And it is broad spectrum. And what the broad spectrum is, is zinc. What is it, zinc oxide? The zinc oxide is what protects you from the UVA and UVB rays. And that is the only active ingredient in our sunscreen. And our sunscreen is organic. It is plant-based. Hang on, I got my notes, you guys. I don't wanna miss anything. So it's safe for your skin. When I tell you it's organic and plant-based, it is safe for your skin. The chicory root that's in our sunscreen mimics retinol. Do you guys know what retinol does? If you have old saggy skin like I do, especially around my eyes, retinol is what tightens your skin. It firms it up. So that shikori root, it's from a plant, so it's good for you, and it's going to firm your skin while it's protecting you, protecting you from the UVA and UVB rays. All right. It also has vitamin three, vitamin B three in it. Vitamin B three reduces the signs of dark spots fine lines and wrinkles when used regularly. So this is why I'm telling you, sunscreen should be part of your daily routine. Every morning when you're moisturizing your face, use our sunscreen. It's the moisturizer you need. You don't need to use anything else with it. Just use the sunscreen. And it has aloe in it, which is gonna cool your skin. So if you're like me and you're always constantly putting makeup and wiping makeup off and your face is tender from all of the touching and stuff you do to it, that aloe is gonna feel like, uh, like heaven. All right, so we've got a ton of amazing ingredients in our sunscreen and it's gonna protect you from all the UVA, UVB rays. Um, you will apply it every two hours, just like you would anything and you should be using it year round. All right, you guys, any questions on the sunscreen, UVA, UVB, anything like that, questions, comments, post them below. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Please tag somebody or share it. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday and I'll see you all soon. Ciao, Bellas.